Hello, in this video we will discuss the balancing techniques of the Cessna 152 aileron flight control surface. There is a critical need for primary control surfaces to be balanced so that they do not vibrate or flutter in the wind. Balancing is performed to the manufacturer's instructions which usually consist of assuring that the center of gravity of the control surface is at or forward of the hinge point. Any control surface that is out of balance is unstable and does not remain in a streamlined position during normal flight. Failure to properly balance the control surface could lead to a catastrophic failure. In preparation for the control surface balancing procedure, Make sure all control surfaces are in their approved flight configuration. Paint it if applicable. Trim tabs install. All foreign matter removed from the inside of the control surface. Push-pull rods installed and all tips installed. The balancing must be accomplished in a draft-free area. A set of balancing mandrels a balancing beam, a protractor with the spirit level, the movable weight, and a set of quick lock clamps are the required tools to accomplish this task. Place the balancing mandrels on a table or a suitable flat surface. Position the control surface hinges on the knife edges of the balancing mandrels. When positioning the balance beam on the control surface, avoid rivets to provide a smooth surface for the beam and keep the beam at 90 degrees to the hinge line of the control surface. Adjust the trailing edge support of the balance beam to fit the aileron while the center of the balance beam is directly over the hinge line. Remove the balance beam and balance the beam itself by moving the adjustable weights, which is fastened by bolt and washer. Fine balance may be accomplished by use of washers at the long screw on the ends of the beam. Reposition the balance beam on the control surface using a protractor and a spirit level. Zero the protractor and center over the control surface hinge line. Place the movable weight onto the balance beam and slide to center the spirit level. Reference table 17-3 for the aileron control surface balance limits. Once the spirit level is centered by sliding the movable weight, the balance limits of 0.0, .0 to positive 11.31 should be achieved as the approved flight configuration balance limits for the aileron. Now let's discuss the conditions of over and under balance. There are two ways in which a control surface may be out of static balance. They are called under balance and over balance. When a control surface is mounted on a balance stand a downward travel of the trailing edge below the horizontal position indicates underbalance. Some manufacturers indicate this condition with a plus sign. An upward movement of the trailing edge above the horizontal position indicates overbalance. This is designated by a minus sign. These signs show the need for more or less weight in the correct area to achieve a balanced control surface.
This will conclude the balancing techniques for the aileron. Thanks for watching.